What's up, Chuck and the Empire? Recording a little video today. I'm not sure if it'll ever make it to YouTube, but uh, in case it does, I made a big purchase today. I know it's a little raggedy, but uh, yeah, got me a food truck. It was only 7,000. Fixing to take it on as a project, and uh, I'm gonna be doing a little bit of work on the inside and everything. If I do drop this on YouTube, you guys let me know in the comments if you would like to see um, the progress that I make with it. Um, I'm gonna flip the camera around and show a little bit of the inside and uh, what I'm working with. So this is the truck here. This is as you walk in, got a little passenger seat, little compartment. Then we've got, you know, the, the front part. I think I may redo this. I may put a whole new one in. It's a little bit dirty and a little bit outdated. This truck's from 1994, but it runs, works properly. Everything in it's functional. It's a seat. We've got a fryer here. This is around a $1,200 fryer. Um, this is the uh, sink here. It's fed up from this water pump uh, from a battery over this way. Uh, we've got the ventilation system. The sprinkler system was around 4,000. Um, I gotta clean it up. That's what I'm doing today, actually. This is the preparation table, or actually, this is where I'll set the food and the, the skillets and stuff. That's the preparation table there. Uh, I'm gonna put some different equipment in here. Um, that's a new exhaust fan there that I just bought. Um, gotta fix the door, put new hinges on it, seal it off of the top. Other than that, man, everything is functional, everything's ready to go. I'm gonna weld this onto the front and attach the generator as well. But uh, I know it's a little dirty. That's actually what I'm here for today is to uh, to clean it up. But other than that, man, I feel like it's a pretty good purchase for, for $7,000. i am going to turn it, flip it around, um, put around three or 4000 into it, try to make at least a hundred grand out of it in the first year or two, and then go ahead and sell it, you know, for 50, 60 grand as an entire business. What's good, everybody? Um, in today's food truck episode, um, we're gonna be fixing a couple of minor issues. So the lift gate for one is rusted up and starting to look a little janky, especially on the back side here. You can't really see it cause it's not up, but we're just gonna hit that with a wire brush and paint over it. Pretty simple process. We're gonna also paint the rims. They're pretty ugly to look at as well. The paint's fading and everything. We're gonna do black on both of those. So the idea for the truck, once we originally um, thought about doing it, it's gonna be like a candy orange, maybe a burnt orange with black accents. Um, so obviously it's a little bit different process, a little bit more meticulous for the actual body paint, but I'll show a video on that as well. Um, coming up here, um, this truck is a 1994, so it's 20, 30 years old. Um, and if you want to show them in there, you guys can see, obviously it's, it's pretty grimy looking and dirty. And if you got a guy walking by and the door is open and they can see in there, you don't want there to be a lot of dirt and grime in there, obviously. So what we're gonna do instead of, I've already tried cleaning it off. So instead of doing that, I'm gonna paint over it black and then try to do some of the accents chrome again, just see how it turns out. Um, and then I'll show you guys what we're using actually. So um, we got some just, just Rust-Oleum um, Ultra Matte Paint from Walmart. Uh, it's like five bucks a can, it's getting ridiculous. But we got some gloss Rust-Oleum. We'll probably use this for the exterior for the, uh, um, lift gate and the um, rims we've got a wire brush to kind of knock off some of this gristle and clean it up a little bit um, it's me and my girlfriend doing it so it's going to be we got a, a two pack of masks um, glasses and then we've got we got a bunch of trash bags to use for the inside so we can tape off some of it and then obviously masking tape i think all together we probably spent like I don't know, 30, 40 bucks. I'll put the receipts inside the uh, video here so you can see it. Um, and we're gonna do a time lapse of us actually painting. Um, I know that the, the process for the actual food truck is gonna be a little bit uh, more meticulous and we're gonna use a sander and everything, but I'm doing a video on that too. Um, and then, yeah, so we'll just, we'll get started and show you guys the process.
everybody so uh, as you see in the end of that last video i touched up the lift gate i did the uh, hinges the rims and the front bumper um and the reason that i didn't tape it off or make sure i didn't overspray is because today um is a huge day for us we're actually um, sanding the entire truck down and painting the entire body i'll show you the stuff we bought and then i'll get to putting you guys in a time lapse so you can see our process we're going to sand it down we're going to um you know wash all, all of the grease off of it. the truck's really greasy so we got to get that done and then once we wash it we're gonna um sorry we're gonna wash it then sand it and rewash it um and then we're gonna prep it tape it and uh go ahead and paint it the uh, paint was really expensive i'll put that on the screen now and then um i'll show you everything we got right, so this is what we got this is what was required to paint anyways luckily uh, my uncle actually has a bunch of equipment and the uh, compressor and everything but you do need a paint compressor or not our air compressor of about 32 gallons or more and you need uh, obviously holes um, and a shop somewhere well ventilated like where the food truck is if you guys can see it over there this is what we got we got uh paint guns it's about 50 bucks i'll put the receipts on there for the video for you guys to see um and then this is you know paint strainers obviously a bunch of sandpaper which is obviously not going to be enough I was just informed that by my uh, painter friend. But anyway, we've got uh, we've got more uh, sandpaper here. We got tape, and then uh, we're probably gonna use something something here like some some plastic sheeting to uh, tape it off with. We got some gloves, and then we got the paint. Uh, we got two gallons of competition orange, and then we've got more strainers, paint sticks. We've got uh, activator and hardener. Um, which is right here, and then uh, yeah, that's all you really need. Not much to it. It's more to uh, the actual work than uh, anything else. So um, we'll get to that guy for you guys right now. What's up everybody so as you can see as the last video uh, ended the next video we're going to be painting it um, it's super satisfying to watch um, the truck turned out really really good so um, i know you guys would love to see that this truck's made a lot of progress in the last couple of months that video was recorded probably about a month ago so um, a lot of progress since then we're actually getting ready to get it up and going in the next i'd say two or three weeks 
Uh, we've got about four grand into it, so we're all in at around 11 or 12,000. And I'd say the truck's probably valued at 25, 30 right now, so I've got some equity in it. Maybe maybe 20 in the right market, I don't know. Um, but yeah, no, it's, uh, it's turned out pretty good so far. It's definitely gained value. Um, and we're gonna finish the inside up in the next week or two, and I'll drop the video on that after the uh, next video. So stay tuned, next video is super dope. Um, you guys will love it, and then yeah, thank you.